This demo is being brought to you by SQL Server 2014 Tutorial.com. Today we will be discussing how to insert data into SQL Server table. So that's obviously, you know, once you have your database up and running, uh, you have created tables and whatnot, the next step is going to be how to really load up the information. So uh, as far as uh, SQL 2014, how do we do that? Well, when adding data into a SQL Server table, you really have uh, quite a few options. Um, you can use the uh, SQL Server import export wizard. Um, this is quite handy, especially if you're using formats like, let's say, a text file, uh, you know, Excel, or maybe even some other uh, ODBC or OLEDB uh, data sources. You can easily use that. Uh, it will walk you, the wizard will walk you through a series of steps and um, essentially at the end you will have uh, what's called an SSIS package. We actually have a demo on this on our YouTube channel, uh, which is right here, by the way. Maybe I can show you this real quick um, in here. So in fact, yeah, it's already up and running. So it's uh, youtube.com slash uh, if you If you go to videos here, you can, uh, you'll see a lot of videos on SQL Server and other topics, so definitely uh, check that out. And uh, <clears throat> since I'm already here, let me show you our website too. This is uh, not quite ready yet. We are actually in the process of putting the videos together. This video that I'm doing is going to be part of that video, but definitely check us out in June. Uh, we should be up and running by then. Uh, but anyway, so so you can uh, use the import export export wizard to do this. You can also use uh, what's known as BCP. This is a bulk copy program, or you can use a bulk insert statement. We definitely uh, we will have an example of that later today. Um, you can also use SSMS actually to add data. I would not recommend it because it only lets you do one record at a time. But uh, again, SSMS if you don't know is SQL Server Management Studio. Or finally, uh, you can use the good old insert uh, SQL command. And this is exactly where we are to, going to focus on most of our um, uh, demos today, I guess. But um, so let, let's let's go to that. Uh, as far as the insert SQL command, uh, you know, this is used to insert data into a table. By the way, some people call it uh, SQL. Some people call it SQL. Doesn't matter. Either one is fine. So uh, you can uh, use whatever... Uh, you desire. Now, as far as the syntax of an insert query, how do you write that? Well, it's not super complicated. You basically say insert into table. Into here is an optional clause, so you could simply go insert and then the table name, and then uh, use the term values, the key term values, and then you put some uh, data into the actual field, okay? This is obviously the simple version of it. As we're going to be showing you demos, you will see that there are quite a few options that you can use. Now for today's demo specifically, we are using SQL Server 2014 Enterprise Edition. We have a custom database that we called Human R. I guess it comes from human resources, but it sounds a lot cooler. Um, and then we are going to focus on uh, tables like department, customer, and employee tables. Okay. Now specifically, uh, you know, what examples are we going to do? Well, there are quite a few of them, so let's just go down the list. We will start off by inserting one row, uh, really without specifying any field names. We are going to use a department table for this. Then we are going to insert another row, and in this one we are going to specify the column names. Uh, then we will move on to, uh, you know, one row is fine, but how do you really insert multiple rows? Well, we will show you that using the values clause, and then we will also show you that using a subselect clause, okay? Then we are going to switch gears and we are going to move on to the employee table. We are going to show you how to insert one row using all fields, and then again, we will uh, insert another row using specific fields. Um, and then finally, uh, we will show you how to do this uh, bulk insert command. This is really cool, especially if you have a, um, let's say you have a text file or in a CSV or something along those lines. Uh, you know, you may have a um, file ready to go and by this, by using this command, you can load up essentially all your data at one shot. So we'll show you that. And then uh, we're going to go over also the output subclause. This is actually pretty nifty if you are trying to, let's say, insert a statement, insert some data, and you know you want to know 
while you're inserting or after the insert what are some of the values how do you do that well you can use the output uh, subclause um, to do that so this is all great information but can we actually stop talking and uh, show a demo we can certainly do that so for this we I'm going to switch over to my management studio okay like I said I'm running 2014 I have a bunch of databases in here but the one we're trying to uh, focus on is the human R database and if I show if I expand the tables uh, you know right now we only have um, we only have uh, really three tables in it this is really a backup table that we'll, we'll talk about but let's let's start this out so if you expand uh, your database table and I look at the columns and let me move this a little bit uh, over so you can see a little bit better uh, the de department table is pretty simple you know we have a department ID it's an integer right we have a department name which is a varchar 50 and then we have a manager ID uh, notice that uh, this is required because it says not null and this is required but this one you can leave uh, leave empty okay so let's do that let's just uh, uh, I believe I have the uh, the SQL script already ready to go part of it at least I'm going to minimize this uh, well how should I do this? Let me actually uh, let me move this over a little bit so you can at least see the field names. Okay. Um, now, as for inserting data, uh, let's let's go down and see what we have. Uh, I have some of these scripts, uh, some of the commands already ready, and some of them are I'm going to write as we go along. So uh, the first thing you need to do is if you come up here, you'll notice that we're using actually master, right? Well, that's not where our tables are. Our tables are actually in human R. So you can use the use command and hit F5 or this one does the same thing. This is going to change the context to that database. And now, uh, before we do anything, it's always a good idea to check the data. So you do that by select star, which means every field from this table. Okay, well, let's go ahead and uh, find out what's going on. So now when I run this, there is nothing in it, right? We, you see you have department ID, name, manager ID, but that's about it, okay? Well, that's cool. Now, what do we want to do? The first exercise we have today is how to insert one row. You have no fields, and you are going to use the value. These are the values, I guess. So one will be department ID, ID sales would go in department name, and then 101 will go here. Okay, well, let's... Uh, let's get to work now one thing you you should know or may know already but uh, is that um, in SQL it's uh, the default setting is uh, uh, case insensitive which means that it doesn't care if you write it in lowercase uppercase um, you know if you are a, um, a little bit of a perfectionist uh, you may want to like follow the standards but I'm kind of a little bit more of a free uh, roller so let me just do this so here I will say insert into department okay in fact let me back up <clears throat> alright so you start with insert okay and again into is the optional clause like I said and then you say the table well our, de our table is department okay so that's fine and then I'm going to use the clause values okay which is required and then I'm going to start typing the fields. Well, what are our fields? First is department ID. So, and remember it's an integer, so we can just write one, okay? Then we can write sales for the department name. Well, what is wrong with this? See, it even gives you a little uh, squiggly line. It says uh, invalid column name. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in single quotes and you should remember that any kind of uh, character data, textual data, uh, you want to put that in single quotes, okay? And then I'm going to separate this by a comma. So every field that you're trying to insert should be separated by a comma. And then what is our last uh, item? Well, it's our manager ID, right? So for now, our manager ID is going to be 101, okay? And I didn't highlight this, but when you start putting in the, in the values, you need to uh, have an open parentheses or and a close parentheses or open brace, whatever it's called, okay? Now, let's go ahead and try this. I'm going to highlight that and hit F5. Okay, it says one row affected, which means one row got inserted. Well, don't believe what it tells you. Always try to do the select and find out what's going on, okay? Now, the data is there, as you can see. 
Another way you can check the data is to highlight the table and you can do the select top thousand rows. It should give you the same information at least in theory. In real world who knows what's going to happen. It is after all SQL Server. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so so that's that's good. Okay, well, I inserted one row. Uh, you know, I and notice that I did not specify fields in here. Okay, well, that's that's great. But what if I wanted to specify fields? How do I do that? Well, the only thing you do different here is notice that we do the same thing, which is insert into department, correct? Then you go uh, here instead of going to values. I'm actually going to specify the fields. I'm going to say okay department ID comma department name comma manager ID and then rest of this thing should look very familiar to what our what we already did okay all right so I guess that that sounds good let's let's see let's see if it happens again you highlight the item hit a five and that should get you the data again um, I can be a little bit uh, <clears throat> OCD about this stuff, so I want to make sure that I am getting uh, stuff as I go along. And sure enough, now we have another record. Okay, well that's cool. Um, let me let me move on to the next item. How do you insert multiple rows using uh, the insert statement? Well, a couple of ways you can do this. Okay, one way is to do you know just the regular insert into department values, and then what you're what you're going to do is you are going to put the rows one line at a time. I mean, it doesn't have to be one line, but here I'm just doing it for simplicity. The key here is that you break the line by this comma. See this comma at the end? Okay, so what does that mean? What, what that means is I'm going to insert this row, then I'm going to insert this row, then I'm going to insert this row. Okay, well, let's try it. We can only break it, right? You highlight it, hit execute, and boom. Now we have three rows inserted into this. So, okay, again, let's let's go ahead and check the data. Uh, how do we do that? You've already seen this. When I run that, I have five rows. 